The home at 2212 West Oak Street is believed to be the oldest structure in the West Oak Area Historic District. Over the years, it has fallen into disrepair, but new owners have stepped in to turn that around. Hi, I'm Roman McAllen, and in today's episode of Preservation Denton, we're going to get a one-on-one -on -one tour of the home from Dan Fetty, who recently completed an amazing rehabilitation. Hey, Roman. How are you? Dan, great to see you. <laughs> wow, this is impressive. I agree. <laughs> you must be really proud. I am, yeah. <laughs> All of the subs uh, that were involved in the work uh, really bought into the project and the uh, the need to, what, restore it, uh, make it as, as pretty as possible and, and still repair everything that needed to be repaired. First thing I'm drawn to on the left when I, is this fireplace and that tile, is that tile new? That is new tile, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's really great. Very reminiscent of the kind of tile you might have seen here, you know, in the early 20th century. Yeah, exactly. And this is where you see one of the seams. Do you ever get a, a greater feel of how many additions were made to the house? Oh, I would guess it, at least four, uh, perhaps five before I came along. Yeah. And the front door looks like the one you inherited. This is, the, it was on the house when we got here. A pretty strong feeling that's not the original door to the house, uh, but it's got plenty of vintage built into it. These are the Jeffersonian style windows that you would slide up and go out on your front yeah. porch with. Okay, Dan, I can't resist. I've got to open one of the windows. Uh, it just, they look, it, it look nice. Oh, look at that. Wow. And the sash drops all like that. Wow, they really move nicely. It, does. it works really good, yeah. So uh, this, is, this is floor that was original to the house uh, when the house was built in the 1890s. Yeah. Wow, wow. You know, I forgot to ask about these interesting features. So there were cold air intakes down low on both flanks of the fireplace and hot air exits up higher on both exits. That's really neat. And I got to see a repurposed door here. This door's got a story. Yeah, I think that's a big dog scratch there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It's part of the history of the house, you know? It is, you're absolutely yes. right. So then the kitchen uh, is here on this room. And again, this is a neat product here. This is a vinyl. Isn't that something? Yes. Uh, and it really Mannington recently came out with this design and it's really nice stuff. We had a, a, a very accomplished woodworker who uh, pitched in on several occasions uh, to do some special stuff. Uh, and this is one of those. If you look real close, these are all added on to just a little bit. He had old wood on hand uh, and used that old wood to, just in case that we ended up staining this, we, it, it was better to paint it. Yeah. It was originally painted. Yeah. And we just did it again uh, and extended all of the, all that. the balusters uh, a few inches yeah. to give us the height we needed to uh, yeah. raise the I remember yeah. talking about that a lot. Yeah. That's really good how you yeah. got that worked yeah. out. And here again, we're converting to, to carpet largely here because uh, of, of uh, sound uh, oh. insulation. And you see you added... Uh, yeah, here, there. what we did, here's the original handrail. Yeah. And we, this doesn't pass code. This does. You mentioned some old doors on the second floor. That oh, yeah. Left. Those are here. And oh, it, here you that. can see yeah, how see thin it. they are. Very thin. And mortise, mortise and tendon, tendon joinery right to here. hold the doors so, together. So you see the end of the tenon coming through uh, this side of the door. This, when the, when, this is the way they were assembled back then. And what's clear is the very thin profile of these doors. So this may date to 18s. And, uh, yeah, this appears to be original to the house. 
I look at these detailing. So these are the original, what would we call it? Well, of? about half of these brackets are ones uh, that were either intact. Mm -hmm. We repaired a few other ones. And about half of the ones that you see here, we rebuilt uh, entirely anew. And then these tapered cops, now, are these? Uh, a few of those are original and a few of them are, are brand new. And they're sort of Queen Anne style, I guess. It just, they're just stunning. It's really impressive what you've done here. You know, this project, there's really almost no words for it because if you knew what it looked like before and you see it now, it's like not really believable. <laughs> Thank you for letting us come and visit the home right here at the finish sure. of it. It takes skill and a dedication to preservation to properly renovate any historic home. And now this historic landmark will continue to be enjoyed for generations to come. Remember that you can watch more episodes of Preservation Denton online at youtube.com slash City of Denton. For the City of Denton, I'm Roman McAllen. Thanks for watching.